How's it going Pokemon fans, CJ here from the Jawamon YouTube channel bringing you what will be my last video with this Garbodor deck. Uh, next week it'll be Shane's turn, he's going to be doing whatever he wants. Uh, I know he's got a couple ideas popping around, I know he's mentioned, uh, I think the most two decks he was interested in were Lycanroc and Sylveon. So uh, keep on the lookout to see which of those it'll be, maybe it'll be neither one of those. I don't know. He's pretty finicky with his deck choices. But uh, here's a list one more time. If you want to pause it, screenshot it, do whatever you want to get the list. Uh, and um, I want to get into a game, so I will see y'all there. Alright, so we got probably the mirror. You know, the, the mirror's been kind of awkward from what I see so far. Um, yeah, because you're both hoping that the other just plays all their items and then you yourself are just trying to play as little items as you can and then the other attack, I think it really just comes down to the other attackers you have but the mirror is one of the reasons why you play the uh, the Bunnelby because you know obviously if you see that your opponent is playing Arbador you're just not gonna play your items which is why the bundle B is in there. And then we don't really need that many items to attack. I mean you hit your you hit your opponent's Garbodors for weakness. Really you just have to worry about the the other attackers in the deck. You know, some do some do Tauros. I think a lot of them do Tauros. A lot of them have Lele. Uh, some of them do Drampa. We are having to mulligan a lot. Alright, there's an attacker. With, you know, I'll take this hand. Uh, he's gonna draw a bunch of cards, but we can use Tapu Lele to play in. Uh, the question is, do we want to put Choice Band on Tauros? Uh, I, I think it really depends on what he flips over. Got to draw four cards. All right, so he starts Marini. Okay. Haven't seen that one yet, but this is going to be kind of a subpar turn. Uh, we're, we're not going to do anything really. I don't even really want to attach the choice band. No. I think we just uh, play in kind of boring but uh, you know we'll see what we get after the end maybe we get some good stuff that I'll take it All right so we play this we'll go and put the energy here we'll put the float stone here I believe and I guess we could we could ultra ball for shaman but I don't think we really need to. I think we just pass. I think this is a good enough start for a turn one. He's gonna Ultra Ball. The Rainy's pretty interesting. You know, he's gonna go into Toxpex, probably the GX. I'd, well, maybe I'd assume the GX. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so he gets an Orangaroo. So there's some consistent draw right there. Now he can Ultra Ball for something, play it, and then just draw a bunch of cards. Well, two cards, really. Uh, three items in the discard so far. So 60 damage with Garbodor. Goes for another Marini. Let's see, what does he have? So is he just going to go for a Poison Sting? There's the Lele. What does he get? I imagine Sycamore? Feels right to me. Still three items in the discard. So... 
as y'all know, this is the, the last video, or at least with me, doing the Garbodor deck. Uh, one of the other guys might do it eventually, I don't know yet. Uh, we kind of just decided what we're going to do, like, the week before, like the weekend before, for the most part. But, oh, this, this deck definitely seems strong. Uh... I wouldn't. I, I probably wouldn't say it's amazing yet, but that might be. Maybe I'm just missing something. Maybe I'm playing a few things wrong. Maybe I'm just not used to this style of deck. Like all the decks that I've played so far are either super aggressive, or very controlling. Like the main two decks that I've stuck to are Turbo Dark and Waylord. <laughs> uh, very two opposite ends of the spectrum. So it's really weird playing one of these decks that's kind of in the middle. Uh, do I want to discard Choice Ban? I think discarding is fine. Uh, we will grab Garbodor. Can we get a knockout here? One, two, three, four. We're doing 100 damage. So like a deck like this is kind of new territory territory for me. Like it's not, it's kind of slow, but it's not as slow. If I'm making sense to any of y'all. No, whatever. I'll just attach this here. Uh, da, da, da. it's not a knockout, which is a little unfortunate. I'm only doing yeah a hundred damage. We didn't get the DC either. No, I would just say Heritoros. Make him. Hey, if he wants to attack, he has to attack Tauros. Alright, so he is doing the GX. One damage. Flip coin four times. 30 damage reach, uh, super intense poison. It's poison, but it takes 10 instead of 1 damage per turn, or between turns. He's gonna play N. Now, this is weak to Psychic. So, I'm essentially doing 40 damage per, per, per tool. Poor tool. Whole. Right, so, uh, I think that's 6 items. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are definitely one shotting that Toxapex. And I'd imagine he's going to try to attack with it. Hmm. He's going to instruct. I think even if he doesn't get to retreat, which he doesn't. I think I'm probably just going to Lysander and knock out the Toxapex. Because that's where most of his energy is. Um, he's already got a lot of... Uh, I'll put this energy on Tauros. Let me make sure I'm looking at this right. Alright, weak to Psychic. 1, 4, 6 times 4, 240. And, okay. I just want to make sure that it wasn't like Tapu Lele. Attack for a lot. 240, I believe. 280. Hex and Versus Seeker. And now I have two items. So if Garbodor attacks, he's attacking for 80 because of weakness. Hmm. What does he bring up though? I would imagine maybe just the Garbodor? Yeah, there it is. See, there's an attachment there. He's gonna go for Sycamore. So getting the knockout on that the 
the tox specs is pretty nice. Gets us, you know, an extra prize ahead. He's gonna trash a lanch. Now at this point, do I want to? Oh, I could get so greedy. Are you just gonna concede? So, I think that's a good enough video. Uh, we get a nice mirror. Well, it's not exactly a mirror, but you know, it's Garbodor versus Garbodor. Tox specs was kind of interesting. It never really did anything for him. I think it just gave me an extra prize. But I, since it was a concession, we can't really say for sure it was gonna go my way. But you know, I could always just Lysander to pick up two prizes on the Marine. There are the Tox specs. Puts me four prizes ahead of, ahead of him. Um, I had a Trubbish on the bench with an energy, just waiting. If I remember correctly, I had a Trubbish on the bench with an energy, just waiting for another Garbodor. I uh, would have hit Garbodor for weakness if he had that out. Uh, just a couple more energy, and I would have been able to knock out Tapu Lele. Not energy, a couple more trainers, and I would have been able to knock out Tapu Lele. Uh, if I needed to, I could have put down one of the Bumblebees that I had in my hand, start milling him out, so that I could make sure uh, Lele is a one-shot. Uh, it's also possible that I just find the uh, Choice Ban, which makes it easier to get the one-shot on top of Lele. So, even though we didn't see the whole game, I think it's still a safe bet that we had it. But, you know... Well, I think that'll, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching me playing this Garbodor deck. Uh, it's definitely strong. Uh, I think, I don't think I have my list exactly how it should be. Uh, I'll mess around with it some more. But, uh, yeah. Like if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to watch games 1 and 2 and the deck profile if you haven't watched those yet for whatever reason. Uh, be sure to, you know, Watch out for next week where Shane brings up whatever he wants to play. And as always, stay jolly.